Let me um, cover quickly the engagement that brought us uh, together. And this was, I say, getting on for two years ago now when we were set a challenge to massively expand the telemarketing capability uh, within the company, basically from five or 600 uh, te outbound telemarketing seats principally to 4,000 uh, telemarketing agents in six uh, call centers. The primary focus of those, uh, of those call centers initially was uh, outbound calling, and all 4,000 of those seats are enabled with predictive dialing technology. One of the key things, though, about the operation, I think one of the things that makes it unique in the world, is all 4,000 of those agents are fully blended. And if a TV advert goes out, we can swing the vast majority or all of that agent population from outbound to inbound completely automatically to respond to uh, inbound call peaks. And as I say, it's, um, the although we've got 4,000 agents in six centers, it's a full virtual call center operation with uh, campaigns and, and calls queued and shared across the entire enterprise. The original uh, business strategy around the telemarketing piece was uh, very much around the customer retention uh, arguments with all of the normal sort of uh, views about customer retention. It's much, uh, much, much more cost effective to keep and maintain customers than to acquire new ones. And really, the telemarketing program was ab about doing that through the promotion of discount sch schemes, the stimulation of call volumes, uh, etc. Just give you an idea of some of the volumes that uh, we operate through uh, the GTX uh, enabled centers. Um, of, our 40, of our 20 million customer base, the original intent was to call 14 million of those up to four times a year. We, on a daily basis, and again, remember we're using predictive dialing technology, so we only get through to real human beings at the end of, at the, end of the call, we're contacting 250,000 uh, customers a day from uh, this platform. And we're probably putting through about 100,000 orders, where an order is every, anything from a second line to a, a friends and family number change uh, to a billing option change uh, through the platform. So the scale of what we were trying to achieve um, was enormous, and um, I say that's one of the, the main reasons why we selected the GTX product in the first place. The, there were many more products that had more functional widgets and capabilities uh, at the time, but we were really c quite confident that the architecture would lead us to be able to produce uh, call centers of the size and scale uh, that we've been very successfully operating now for the past uh, 18 months.